years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before. Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending this fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he secretly started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity. They're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration does today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! その アメリカ西海岸最強の食のアーティスト、サンフランシスコチャールズ・デオリチョ、ロン・シーゲル、32歳。15歳で料理の世界に飛び込んだロンは、地道に修行を重ね、料理学校を卒業。幸運にも全米
このキッチンスタジアムがアメリカでも注目を集めていますそこで今回は全米で最も料理レベルが高くしかも鉄人ファンが多いサンフランシスコから市長推薦の料理人を呼び寄せました西海岸最強の食のアーティストさあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えくださいサンフランシスコチャールズシェフロン・シーグ Coming more than 5,000 miles and now the final steps into Kitchen Stadium for the challenger from San Francisco. The city's mayor of Axum and thousands of Bay Area viewers will be tuned in pulling for a victory by Ron Siegel. サンフランシスコでも大人気のうちの鉄人たちを登場させましょうよみがえるアイアンシェフザ・レジェンダリー・マンオブ・ザ・コロナリー・シーン・イン・ジャパンザ・アイアン・シェフスアイアン・シェフ・チャイニーズ・チェン・ケニチアイアン・シェフ・フレンチ・ヒロユキ・サカイアイアン・シェフ・ジャパニーズ・マサハロ・モリモト What artistic creations will appear before our eyes today? さあそれでは伺いましょう誰と戦いますか Sakai Yes sir the French cuisine artist from the city by the bay will take on Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai who's been on a roll winning his last six battles for his highly refined skills and use of color Sakai is known as the Delacroix of French cuisine today his winning streak is on the line against a tough challenger from the states giving him all the incentive he'll need to keep it going サンフランシスコといえばシーフードそこで今回はカリフォルニアキュイジーヌの定番食材と言われる大きなハサミを持ったアレにしてみましたそれでは発表します今日のテーマはこれですロブスター私の記憶が確かならばサンフランシスコ市長はロンについてこう語った「This man is truly an artist worthy of being in anybody's hall of fame dining on his food is like viewing a great Picasso」All right, two artists in French cuisine set to battle it out in Kitchen Stadium with lobster as the theme. The Iron Chef facing the truly original approach of Challenger Siegel, who's come from San Francisco Bay to our stadium on the shores of Tokyo Bay. Settle in, everyone. This is going to be special. Arakuzin! Opening gong and okay, you know you go first. Says the Iron Chef, and Siegel does. Now both men getting up to the ingredient stand, filling their trays with lobster. Iron Chef has been making a splash on American TV recently, and Sakai has developed a following, and surely he's hoping to make a good accounting of himself today in the battle against the American challenger, Ron Siegel. And Hattori? Yeah. Lobster today, a good theme ingredient for the challenger from the Bay Area. Yeah, I have to agree with that. It's something he probably uses every day, so it should be a good one. All right, now Siegel is already back. Squeeze Yes. I talked to Ron about today's ingredient, and he said lobster is extremely popular in California. I'm very familiar with its uses. For me, it's almost Like a pet, he was very confident. Well, as、uh, long as he doesn't cook the other pets, I guess it's okay. And now dumping his pets into boiling hot water, maybe the pets would take issue with that. Now, He's cutting off the heads now, you'll notice here. The Iron Chef is, yes, and some of them are still squirming. The tails here. Now he's sticking skewers to it, you'll notice. And I think what he'll do is he'll be boiling them like this, and that'll maintain its straight shape after boiling. All right. Squeeze on. Yes, Ota. The Iron Chef, commenting on today's ingredients, said lobster again. Why me? I've lost two of the past lobster battles. He seemed a little concerned. Hey, hey don't say that in the air, eh? <laughs> okay. Well, maybe the third time will be a charm for him. You never know. I'm not letting it happen again. There you go. <laughs> All right, now let's introduce our guests. First, next to me, first time to be here, actress Aiko Morishita. Thanks for coming. A pleasure to be here. First time,、uh, tell us, what's your impression of Kitchen Stadium here? What do you think?、Uh, this is really intimidating. Sure is. Just to be here. Now, you like lobster? Yes. Have you cooked it yourself? 
I got it at the gift once. And okay, and? But I don't remember how I cooked it. All right, well, we won't press you too much on that. <laughs> My Good pleasure to, have to be you. here. And we've also got musician Kazuhiko Kato. Hello. Nice to have you. Kato-san, what's up the headgear? Uh, well, this is a, a nightcap. <laughs> All right, for the lobster battle, huh? Lobster hat. Oh, okay, just kidding. You were here for the prawn battle some time ago. That, that's right? Right, right. And today it is lobster, you lucky guy. Uh, when you think of lobster, what kinds of lobster dishes do you enjoy? Well, I like lobster sashimi, actually. <laughs> Raw? What about that, Doc? Is that a possibility today? Well, you know, that is one way of enjoying the sweetness of the meat, so yeah, we could see that happen. All right, well, thanks for coming. My pleasure. Okay, now look at the Iron Chef here. This is a regular lobster, not Omar lobster. Wow. Yeah? Yeah, he's maybe going to blend them. Kusan? We've got two types. Yes, Ota. Both types? Iron Chef Sakai tells me that the reason why he's also using regular lobster is that it adds extra body. Okie doke. Okay, well, the two are slightly different in sweetness levels. All right, blending his choice here. And for Kusan? Yes. About today's challenger, the Iron Chef says with a smile, he's endorsed by the mayor of San Francisco, huh? Big deal. I've got the governor of Tokyo and other VIPs as customers, too, you know. <laughs> All right, Ron Siegel does have Mayor Willie Brown in his corner, but frankly, both politicians have had pretty miserable years the governor of Tokyo and the mayor of San Francisco. As we check in here... Kui-san! Yes. The challenger has now pulled some of the lobster from the boiling pot and is now frying it in a pan with pepper and olive oil, as you can see here. Hmm. Uh, first boiling, then fry? Why? Can't you just fry them right away? Well, sometimes that can work against you, but you know, he probably wanted a nice red color to it, and that's why he's uh -huh. doing it, because if you fry it right away, sometimes the color fades a little bit. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah, but on the other hand, Aaron Chef is preparing a lobster. I think this is for his American sauce, or bisque or something. All right, Iron Chef Sakai, now we get an up-close look at that one. The lobster battle, we're in the early 15 stages. Minutes 15 minutes passed. gone, the first quarter history. The challenger now, let's get back to his side. And here in the frying pan, what's he got? Uh, I wonder what this is. What are these? Garlic? Oh, garlic. Uh, slices of garlic. Squeeze on a garlic. Yes. Oh, these are yeah. potato slices. Ah, potatoes. Oh, okay, some okay. small oh, fry potatoes. there. And for croissant. Yes. I watched as the Iron Chef brought out lots of matsutake mushrooms. When I asked him about them, he said his theme today was matsutake, autumn, and lobster. He said my dishes today will be something to look forward to. That's an understatement. He's using 20 domestic matsutake mushrooms, a total price of which comes to $1,500. Oh, my, incredible. <laughs> we spare no expense in Kitchen Stadium. Now let's check in on Ron Siegel. He's scrambling around a bit, a little unusual. We've been told in the kitchen he is known as the Iceman for being very very much under control, yes. As his nickname Iceman suggests, the challenger doesn't talk much in the kitchen, but today he's rushing around right and left, barking out orders in the only Japanese that he knows. Doke, which means get out of my way, and isoge, which means move it. All right, the rough and tumble kind of talk, the words being used on their own. Yeah, it is kind of roughneck terminology, depending on how you say it. You know, whoever taught them to him is going to have to be held accountable if he offends someone. Croissant? Yes. Yeah, here's an update on what the Iron Chef is up to. This okay. is a mixture of a combination of steamed lobster, scampi prawns, eggs, and spinach, which were all wow. blended in the food processor. He has also added minced truffles, mustard, and fresh cream to that. Okay, got it. Interesting combo there. Lobster and prawn. And we see Sakai seems to be moving and a lot croissant? quicker. Yes, okay. Sorry to interrupt again. I asked the Iron Chef why he's mixing different kinds of lobster and prawns, and he said, well, the lobster provides body and the scampi prawns add more sweetness if I'm doing it the right way. All right, big fella. And the Iron Chef's formula and reasoning there. Okay, now look at that load of butter. Oh, wow, it's just unreal. This is almost the like challenging the health wow. consciousness of California cuisine. There goes the diet. Oh, did he put rosemary and some other herbs underneath there? Yeah, a lot of types. I think, yes, we got that. Okay. And then butter on top of them. I'm checking it out up close now. I was going to melt them down. Okay. Yeah, he's going to have to... Uh, Squeeze out. Much of it, sure. Yes. In this pot that we're looking at right now, the challenger has hand-crushed garlic, thyme, and loads of butter. Ron told me that crushing garlic with his hands is a trademark style of his. Crushing it by huh? hands. Can we get a shot of that? Boy, he'd have to have some kind of grip to crush oh, garlic yeah. by hand. Yeah, 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 hands to crush watch. garlic. All right, now the Iron Chef spooning the paste he had earlier. Yeah, this is the mousse he was working on before, I believe. All right. Looks like oh, he's putting them on this truffles. Looks good. Onto a truffle platform here. Mm. Maybe he's going to steam them, perhaps. All right, steaming, possibly boiling. We'll have to wait and see what Sakai does. 
And now the Iron Chef spooning the paste he had earlier. Yeah, this is the mousse he was working on before, I think. Hmm. Mmm, that looks good. Yeah, he's putting them on the truffles. Yeah. All right, onto a truffle platform here. Maybe he plans to steam them, perhaps. Steaming or possibly boiling? Okay, we'll just have to wait and see what Sakai does. Kuisan? Take it. Yeah, I had a chance to talk to Ron's supporters up in the Royal Box, and they said Ron is usually a cool and in-control kind of guy, right? but today he's hot. He's on fire. It's the first time they've ever seen him this psyched. All right, so the Iceman does melt it a bit. Battling in Kitchen Stadium, that'll do it to even the coolest of chefs. And up there in the royal box on Ron's side, you see Takakawai lending moral support for Siegel in this battle. Yeah, he was on this show once. Right, about three years ago against Sakai, he lost the Dover battle. At that time, he was the head chef of the Pan Pacific Hotel in San Francisco. Currently now heading the kitchen of the Pan Pacific's hotel in Yokohama. Now we check in on the challenger's side. Colorful, tasty looking, the lobster right here. Look at that. Okay, dipping them in butter. Yeah, he's dipping them in butter. Yeah, fine, fine. This is an interesting fine, technique. Like yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Usually what you do is you pour it as a sauce mm -hmm. later. But he's going to leave it like this and take them out later, I think. Oh, uh, a lobster confit and butter version. A confit, yeah, you could say that, sure. <laughs> All right. Cuisant? Yes. Yeah, I'm watching the challenger's movements once again, and you've got to give him credit. He's trying very hard while struggling with the language barrier. Right. He's given nicknames to two of his assistants, Teddy and Katz, to communicate with him easier. <laughs> but, you know, I haven't quite figured out which is which yet. All right, well, watch out. One's a pet. <laughs> Bear and a cat. All right, now the pasta machine is out. Right there, Ron Siegel. Ooh, wow. the okay, the pasta machine. Yeah. And there, Matsutake mushroom slices. Yeah, got huge them there. Right there. And lobster, I believe, in there. Is it already cooked? Hmm. I don't think. You know, this looks very difficult to cook, whatever the next step is. And check it out. I can see truffles right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, eating this could be difficult as well. Yes. yes. Yeah, about the lobster being sandwiched in between the matsutake mushroom slices, it's lobster which has been steamed and then dressed with olive oil, butter, and flour before being used oh, here. Wow, delectable looking, too. And the Iron Chef now, perhaps he will wrap these. 30 minutes gone now. Okay, now he's going to cook them a little further after wrapping them, I believe. Okay, the Iron Chef. And in case you joined us late, our challenger today from San Francisco, Ron Siegel. And Mayor Willie Brown is his biggest cheerleader. A lot of interest in the Bay Area in this battle between Siegel and Iron Chef Sakai. Our program has legions of diehard fans on the West Coast. Yeah, I talked to some people on the West Coast about the show, and a lot of people enjoy it. And some even know it by the Japanese title, Rory no Ketsuji. They sure do. We have a devoted following there. Yes, Hota. An update on what the challenger is doing. This pasta is made from flour, egg, salt, and milk. He has rolled it flat, lengthening it, and is now adding a paste of minced boiled lobster, salt, pepper, giblets, basil, Italian parsley, estragon, etc. Wow, and preliminary indications, lobster ravioli there. And now the Iron Chef with the semi-wrap job on his matsutake mushroom lobster combo here. Now, I think he'll be frying these. Frying? Yeah, after wrapping them, of course. And then a sauce after. I believe so, yeah. Because these ingredients here are somewhat subtle in flavor. Sure, sure. So right. they would need a little assist. My, this yeah. is just mushrooms and lobster so far, right? So right, far, exactly, but nothing yeah. wrong with that. No, looks good. Kuisan. Yes. Yeah, one of the challenger's assistants says that Ron is using an incredible amount of herbs today, perhaps hmm. three to five times more than usual. Uh -huh. That comment from Teddy, the one with the glasses. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we've got them identified. Teddy's the one with the glasses cats behind him and they say Teddy says a lot of herbs being used by Ron. Yeah I think what he wants is a strong aroma. It's his style of flavoring and the Iron Chef is making a sabayon sauce here. Yes. In the Iron Chef's bowl he has a mixture of sauter and wine, egg yolks, consomme and curry powder. All right thanks Ota. Okay well curry powder mm. seems to be the key to that then. Oh it sounds good. Yeah. Sauterne is a wine. It's a sweet wine from Bordeaux. All right, so the Iron Chef getting into the wine already. Yeah. Kuisan. Yes. Did you see the dark liquid the challenger has over here? Yes. Yeah, this is port wine with figs. Port wine right there and now being brought to a boil. Okay, so a dessert probably then. Right, right. I'm okay. looking forward to that dessert. All right, now here some of the reporters from the Bay Area covering this battle, and we're giving the photographers a chance right now to get some photos. The San Jose Mercury is among the newspapers that have dispatched reporters all the way to Japan to cover this battle. You know, in fact, this story is getting quite a lot of media attention from back in the Bay Area. Ron Siegel on the Iron Chef. Kuisan. 
What's the challenger up to here? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, when I mentioned to Iron Chef Sakai that he now has a big following in the States, he said, hey, that's great. It's great to have so many people watching my style of cooking. Then he said, how do you do in English? <laughs> All right, uh, but the Iron Chef right here looking a little tense, nearing the home stretch. Minutes, I want to know right? what the challenger's up to here. Ota, is this Rita Vo? Yes, Hattori-san, this is Rita Vo. Okay, thanks, got it. That's the part around the throat? Yeah, it's called sweet bread, and as they grow older, it disappears. Okay, and right there, coated with flour, tossed into the frying pan. Yeah, this has a nice, delicate taste. All right, and that is being worked on. 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes left now, Iron Chef's side. Here's a heavy-duty-looking dish, and the sauce being poured out of the pot looks rather thick there. Yeah, that's Kusan? for sure. Yes. This soup or sauce, which is being used by the Iron Chef, is salad oil, garlic, Omar lobster heads, regular lobster, whole tomatoes, some wow. liqueur, saffron, consomme, and fresh cream. This has been simmering for a while. Okay, so he blended different kinds of lobsters in this dish as well. Now Ron Siegel's side. Okay, something very similar going on here. Sure, a similar deal going down here, but... You know, we can see that he's using far more herbs in his preparation. Yeah, and that could be the key to the outcome. And I also noticed some yes. rubber bands, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Just a hint of rubber. Could be chewy. <laughs> now, still with the Challenger, what? What do we have? Uh, Eggshell. Well, yes, I could see, but what the heck is going on with these? Yes. Ask. When I asked Ron about this paper egg carton, he said he was soaking it in water to prevent it from catching fire in the oven. When I tried to find out what he needed it for, he simply said, it's a secret. All right. <laughs> uh, we'll just have to wait and find out what it's all about. No, 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 okay, no, no. now the Iron Chef is... What and is it? Yes, go ahead. Talking about this item being prepared here on your screen, this is steamed abalone in the bottom of the cups, along mm. with butter, spinach, and fresh cream, which have all been cooked together. On top of that, he has poured the sauce, which he was straining out of the pot a minute ago. All right, so the lobster's in the sauce here. Okay, it looks like an egg custard. Mm. Mm. And steamed at the bottom, abalone. Oh, my. Now, the question is here, will he steam it or grill it? Now, usually these are steamed, but it's kind of hard to tell right now. Has he used lobster in this? Yeah, I think I saw some in there. Oh, really? All right, now getting back to the Challenger Kusan? and the eggshells, tell us. Here's the list of what the Challenger has in these eggshells. Fond du Omar, or lobster broth, all milk, right. fresh cream, eggs, salt and pepper, all mixed together and strained. Fond du Omar also? That's right. Okay, so uh, in this... Correction, one... it's Fond du Omar, not veal. Okay, Fond du Omar, lobster broth. But uh, does he have any chunks of lobster meat in this one here? Uh, no, I don't think he does. All right. So in this, he does not have any... Uh, correction, it's Fond du Omar, not veal. Okay, Fond du Omar, lobster broth. But still, he doesn't have any chunks of lobster meat in this one. No, I don't think so. All right. Now, the Iron Chef is creating something that looks like ravioli. Oh, yes. Uh, similar again. Yes. The Iron Chef is taking wonton noodle skins and stuffing them with minced onions, lobster meat, salt and pepper, and exo Chinese sauce. And that's what he's using to uh, stuff these wontons. All right, I'm going to take a guess here. Uh, maybe wonton for a soup. I, I think you're probably right. Yeah. Turning Chinese, Sakai. Here. <laughs> <laughs> now, back on Siegel's side. Starting to get to completion and a nice presentation here on this one. Is this the item you used a lot of butter in? Yeah, right. Oh, it was swimming in hot butter. Hot buttered bulb of lobster Excuse right on. there, yes. I asked the challenger why he's using a lot of herbs in his dishes, and he said the vegetables he was provided with aren't quite as aromatic as he's like, so he's doctoring them up a little, not with just herbs, but also other ingredients as well. Okay, interesting move there. All right, I can see where he's coming from. And now here, this... What is this? Whoa, maybe that moose-like thing and had to on. Oh. into the oven. Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. The creamy white sauce the Iron Chef just added to this dish into the cups is the Sautern based sauce with the egg yolks, consomme curry powder, and fresh cream. Okay, okay Savayon. All right, thanks for the confirmation. And where's this one going to go? It's already in there? Already in the salamander oven? Is that enough to harden it, though? I actually don't think it will harden. So yeah. he just wants a slightly charred surface here? That's what I'm guessing. But does that mean he's done already? Hmm. All right, now back to the Challenger. The filled eggshells. And some instructions there. Play? I don't care. Actually uh, barking those instructions. And now a taste test of one of the eggs. Throws it away, too. And he is really stepping up the pace. Yeah, he's dipped it into the hot water first. Yeah. And then into the oven again. And one was thrown away. But just one, right? So he probably made more than enough. But don't throw them away. I'm not on the tasting panel. Okay, Save me one. Come on. All right. Okay, the Iron Chef is finished. The now. one with the matsutake mushrooms yeah, and lobster. Looks like he's wrapping so that one up. Mm, wonderful aroma. We can smell it over here, too. Okay, now if we can check out the color of the Challenger salad over here. This is, man, that's oh, good stuff. There. Outstanding. Right. And remember, Mayor Brown did call him a Picasso. So a basil sauce, perhaps. 
Take it. This green sauce the challenger is using is made from olive oil and basil, which were blended and strained. Okay, and in line with Sakai's approach. Yeah, no, let's check out the Iron Chef then. Uh, see this? He's got a yellow sauce happening oh, here. Oh, yes, he does too. Fukui-san. Yes. On the other side, the Iron Chef has a yellow sauce, which you just saw, which is made from boiled carrots and garlic. Oh, and he also added orange juice to it. Hmm. Orange juice. Oh, okay. That's why it's that color. Okay. From carrots and orange juice. Yeah, well, it sounds very much California-like, doesn't it? Kind of a reverse situation here. Each taking a page from the other, and maybe Sakai wanting to demonstrate that he can make a dish worthy of California cuisine. And right here, the steamed lobster, right? Well, right. With, with yeah, the sauce being poured over it? Exactly. The okay. Yeah, so yeah, it this is the sauce that we talked about earlier, made from garlic, omar, lobster heads, lobster meat, whole tomatoes, a type of liqueur, saffron, consomme, fresh cream, to which he has also added morel mushrooms, exo sauce, and olive oil. Wow. Okay. Sauce looks <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I gotta agree with that. Look at that. Yes, I think so. And now, swinging back to the challenge, Boy, this guy really is an artist, isn't he? I like his use of leaves here. Yeah, very creative. Very much so. It's hard to believe he's never been out of the States. Huh? Well, uh, that's yeah. that's a little harsh to say. I mean, he comes from a restaurant, one of the top ones on the West Coast, so the guy's got a lot of international experience. That's true. That's true. All right. Fukui-san. Yes, Ota. Yeah, do you see the red sauce the challenger has, this one here? Yes. As I reported earlier, this was made from boiling figs in port wine. He took the figs out, okay. replaced them with butter, hmm. and boiled it further to get it to this stage. Oh, okay, so it's not a dessert after all, then. No, I guess not. Okay, well, sorry, not I missed dessert. that one. No, I guess not. Well, we don't get a dessert. The figs look good, though. Well, sorry, Morishita-san. Uh, I was really looking forward to dessert. Well, okay, I'll go pick up the figs for you later. Then, right? All right. <laughs> yes, so continuing on the challenger side with the dish with the uh, artichokes and the port wine sauce. On top, he has garlic, shimeji mushrooms, namiko mushrooms, mm, as well as other types, that. thyme, veal broth, Three all sautéed together, long. and just yeah. waiting for the lobster topping. All right, well, the lobster's already gone on top now. Okay, I just noticed that the challenger prepared his lobster, and he kind of it all rounded up without piercing a skewer through it, so... Uh, on purpose? Yeah. This on purpose? Is, yeah, he's doing his calculations here. Okay. Okay. Yes, Ota. I told Iron Chef Sakai that he looks very serious today, to which he replied, hey, we've got a lot of people in the U.S. watching, right? I've got to save face as the Iron Chef, and more importantly, I can't lose a lobster battle three times in a row. All right, he's up, broken a serious sweat, and here's the lobster sauce dish with abalone out of the oven. Ooh. Oh, look at the ravioli here. Mm. Challenger side mm. here. It's delicious. And we've wow. seen today a highly skilled chef. Fukui-san. Go ahead. I'm told that this sauce underneath is the juice of strained corn. Back to you. Oh, boy, here we go. Strained corn. Now, this is the one he was preparing a minute ago, so kind of the heart of California cuisine, you could say. Wow, Doc, you'd have to say he's quite a formidable chef here, Ron Siegel. Oh, yeah, that's an understatement, boy. He's very artistic, very well trained. And check it out. Right here, sizzling, it's uh, in the pan. Okay, I see. Yeah, that was Rita Vo, and this is foie gras, I believe. Hmm. Kind of unusual to chart to this degree. Yeah, well, he wants a surface crispy. Almost crispy. charred. That's why he chose a thick one. Exactly, go. right, exactly. All right, a minute left, the final 60 seconds. Challenger Ron Siegel right there shouting some kind of instructions to his assistant Teddy there. <laughs> Teddy! <laughs> Less than a minute to go in the battle. The challenger from San Francisco. Many reporters on the scene from the Bay Area to report on the outcome. Mayor Willie Brown waiting to hear how his homeboy fares. Will it be good news, a victory over Iron Chef Sakai, or will Sakai finally break through and win in his third go-around with lobsters, the theme ingredient he's had to go all out today? To okay, the challenger has made a bisque here, I see. This one? No. Yeah, yeah, it's a bisque. This one? Okay. okay. Yeah, it has scallops and truffles in it. Now the Iron Chef looks to be done, going for the wine, always a good sign go. with Sakai. Ron Siegel going over everything one last time here. To go. He didn't come all the way just to have a good time. He has come to win. Five the Iron seconds. Chef knows what it's all about. Three, He's really let loose two, today, so Siegel one. has been through a grueling workout, and that's it. The cooking's done. The lobster battle is over. No more. Your hour in the kitchen stadium. How did it go? It's hard. To get it the way you like yeah. to do it. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. We did what we could. It goes fast. I mean, it's like... とにかくもう作るものは全部シンプル作りましたので、まあ、あのカメラがちょっとね横を動いて非常に邪魔に感じたところがございましたけれども。So you think you can beat him? I don't know. I haven't seen what he did. I think we did pretty good. I think we're right there. But probably we're okay. Your third lobster battle. Third time, yeah. Yeah, if something happens twice, it uh, could be a third time. <laughs> I don't really agree with that saying, but, you know, today's tasters, many of them like thick sauces and strong flavors, so I kept that in mind. Uh, uh. But you are confident, right? I did all right. Then give it to me straight. Yeah. Who wins? 
I want to win and go to San Francisco. Challenger Ron Siegel is offering five dishes. First, egg royale with burdock resembling the antenna of the lobster. He used lobster broth as a base flavor with an accent from the saltiness of caviar. Second, lobster cream soup, also incorporating lobster broth. Scallops are elegantly presented, wrapped in the aroma of black truffles. Third, California salad with a layer of tomatoes and avocados, a healthy dish reflecting California cuisine. Basil oil heightens the flavor of the lobster. Lobster ravioli corn sauce. He used five different herbs, putting crispy riz de veau on top. The natural sweetness of the corn sauce is the platform for this experience. Last, lobster and foie gras with fig sauce. The lobster meat braised in butter is simply outstanding. And the pairing of foie gras and fig sauce is a perfect match. Iron Chef Sakai has four dishes. First, seafood gratin soup. He added a special wonton flavored with XO sauce in the soup. For extra body, he blended different kinds of lobster. The result, a complex taste controlled with precision. Second, lobster and matsutake combo, a truly exquisite dish with lobster and truffles sandwiched by sliced mushrooms. The flavors and aroma of all the ingredients accentuate the Omar lobster. Lobster mousse with truffles. The Iron Chef used scampi prawns to add more sweetness to the dish. And the mousse wrapped with sliced truffles takes to new heights the taste the panel will experience. Last, Japanese flavor lobster salad, a refreshing dish incorporating orange juice in the dressing. And the sweetness of turnips agrees completely with lobster meat, making for a pleasant finish to the meal. All the way across the Pacific Ocean from San Francisco's Charles Restaurant comes today's challenger, Ron Siegel. The French cuisine artist opts to take on the Delacroix French cuisine Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. For this trans-Pacific battle in Kitchen Stadium, Chairman Kaga unveils lobster as the theme, a slight edge to the challenger. And challenger Siegel shows his stuff with a spectacular set of five dishes. The Iron Chef, with two previous defeats with lobster, fights back with four. And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are photographer Tenmei Kano, actress Aiko Morishita, musician Kazuhiko Kato, and fortune teller Kazuko Hosoki. First, the dishes of Challenger Siegel. To me, the presentation looks Japanese, even though this is his first time in Japan. I'm, I'm amazed. I like the way he cut this, the jagged edge. When I first put it in my mouth, I thought, oh, this is just ordinary. But as I kept eating more, I started to realize this is so delicate, and the saltiness is perfect as well. It doesn't have any trace of a fishy smell. Wonderful. For instance, if I were in Kyoto at a top Japanese restaurant and this was served, I wouldn't be surprised at all. This is very high class. Mmm, very good. There's no unpleasant smell to this. Usually, Omar's soup is a bit smelly. His soup doesn't have that fishy smell at all. Very sophisticated, I think. This is a very light, how to say, a bisque for the 21st century. Normally, you mince the whole lobster for making this, but this one, he picked out the best portions of lobster only. I like this very much. This dish is the ultimate of ultimates. I would never have imagined it. Avocados and lobster go so well together. He's very good, very skilled. I mean, in the kitchen, his movements were almost wild to me. But he never forgot to calculate. He knows where to stop to control the flavor. This is very good. Really good. <laughs> Honestly, before the battle, I wasn't expecting much from him. <laughs> this is good. 
I have to apologize, but I wasn't expecting very much. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is really good. I'm completely satisfied. I thoroughly enjoyed lobster as the main ingredient. I've always believed that we Japanese have the best taste buds in the world, but his dishes today have taught me a lesson. I've changed my mind. This has been an eye-opener. Yes, he's quite good. And now the dishes of Iron Chef Sakai. The meat of the lobster raw is uh, quite subtle. So uh, I prepared them in uh, pure French style, using thicker sauces. I, uh, I tried to combine the vegetables, uh, the ones that I often use. It's interesting that they prepared similar dishes, uh, a bisque confrontation. But the approaches are very different. Sakai sans bisque, how to say, is like the lobster is swimming in the bowl. The challenge with bisque was very simple. He made us perceive lobster in his soup. But this one, Iron Chef used that as a base, trying to entertain us with other ingredients as well. It's hard to say which is better. This is a matter of personal preference. I tried to add the aroma of the lobster in the sauce. We've been eating one French dish after another, but this time he gave us a Japanese flavor, and I feel satisfied with it. It's very good. The truffles are a little too strong. We know the flavor of matsutake in our mind, but in our mouth, I'm not enjoying the matsutake as much as he planned. But you could say this is a gorgeous dish presented by an Iron Chef. The Iron Chef prepares servings of his lobster meat with truffles. Very dynamic, very visually appealing. It's saying to me, eat it, it'll taste fantastic. Honestly, this is the eighth lobster dish, and my tongue is a bit tired. But this is so good. I think this is great. This is wonderful. To be honest, I'm getting rather full, but... I just can't stop eating this. This is not really subtle in any way. I see loads of truffles and moral as well. All kinds of things are in here. Very colorful. At first, you think this may not be controlled right, but it is very well controlled, well orchestrated. All of the dishes were very good, using an expensive ingredient cooked by top chefs. The challenger from the U.S. was quite a caliber, too. The Iron Chef is usually good at matching the ingredient to his own style, creating his own world. But today, I think he sort of experimented with the ingredient. That's my impression. The verdict is moments away. Which side of the Pacific will be celebrating? Today in Kitchen Stadium, what a battle! The leading French cuisine artist from the Golden Gate City, more than 5,000 miles from home, the ultimate road warrior. Challenger Siegel, a high-powered display of his culinary artistry, locked in a lobster battle with Iron Chef French Sakai. Both drew raves, but only one can draw the win. Does Sakai keep his speak alive? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Chosen a long seal! It's Siegel! Ron Siegel wins it! The challenger! And a very gracious Sakai congratulating and applauding the man who has scored a tremendous win here. We'll long remember this one. Siegel stopping Sakai's winning streak at six. All right, we've got to check these scores. Kano, 20 to 19, the challenger. Morista, 20 to 19, the challenger. Kato, 18, 17, the challenger. Hosoki, 19, 18, the challenger. Incredible, a sweep. Willie Brown's going to have to give him the keys to the city. The mayor's confidence was well placed. Ron Siegel, from your performance today, your name will live on in Kitchen Stadium forever. In my opinion, the soup was the key. Ron's soup was better than the Iron Chef's. 
Ron Soup was really perfected. Wonderful. That spoke of his entire career. Of course, the Iron Chef has a glorious one himself, but that soup for sure was what really scored. His approaches, using everything he had, he materialized his ideas very well. And not only related to taste, I was also impressed with the combination of all the elements that he used. Ron's approaches to the cooking were so masculine and very bold, and yet his presentation was sophisticated and elegant. And that is what impressed me a lot. And a jubilant Ron Siegel sits down with reporters from both countries. I just was very happy, you know, we fought very hard, and I was very glad to have beaten Mr. Sakai and... I just feel really glad that I beat him, and it was a, a very emotional time, and I, would, I look forward to beating him, either him again or another one of them.